Listen to this. There's growing backlash over school bathrooms once again down in Loudoun County, Virginia, as students staged a walkout in protest against the district's progressive policy that allows non-binary, gender fluid, and transgender children to use bathrooms or locker rooms based on their chosen gender. They can go anywhere they want. Uh, students call that policy, some students call it a massive safety risk, but they're being, they say they're being completely ignored by school officials. Well, let's talk to the governor of the great state, the Commonwealth of Virginia, Glenn Youngkin, joins us right now. Governor, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me, and I appreciate you covering this. This is the exact same school division that covered up two sexual assaults of young women by the same perpetrator to the point where the school superintendent was not only indicted but also fired. This is the same school system that just recently did not disclose for 20 days nine fentanyl overdoses in one high school. And it's the same school system that has failed to adopt by law our model policy which make it very clear that locker rooms should be uh, determined by one's biological sex. Sports should be determined by one's biological sex. And uh, now they have students staging a walkout. They're not listening to students. They're not listening to parents. And uh, I, have a, I have a real sense that uh, they don't listen to anybody other than their progressive right friend, progressive left friends. Indeed. And, you know, it was just uh, it was two years ago when the whole country started listening to Virginia and you famously became governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia running on education and uh, people should be able to listen to their to their parents. Uh, they should have an input in the kids. We did reach out, Governor, to the Loudoun County Public Schools. We haven't heard back yet. Is there anything you can do at the at the state level? Well, for, first of all, we, we, we issued model policies across the entire Commonwealth that outline very clearly that all students, all students must be ensured dignity, respect, safety, and privacy. And in this case, we have a yeah. large group of students who are standing up saying, you are not respecting right. our privacy and our safety. And again, this is a school system that has demonstrated that they are willing to hide things right. when bad things happen. And that is just unacceptable. And therefore, I expect the same kinds of results that we've seen in counties all over Virginia, where in fact, they have to comply with our model policies. There isn't a choice here. Right. We have issued them in accordance with our code. They have to adopt them. And I fully expect Loudoun County will hold a will hold a board meeting and adopt them. And let's just be clear. Elections are on Tuesday. Right. And the entire Loudoun County School Board is up for uh, election on Tuesday. And I encourage the Loudoun County voters, get out and make your voice heard because it's time to elect a new school board in Loudoun County. You know, and it was just 24 months ago, Governor, that uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia was run by Democrats. State House, the governor's mansion, the House, the Senate, Republicans. You, you are now a re Republican governor for the state. Republicans run the House. And now your big charge is trying to flip the Senate as well. How, how good are the chances that you can actually pull that off? Well, we have a ton of momentum going into the final day of voting on Tuesday. And you're exactly right. Just 24 months ago, Virginia was totally controlled by the progressive left and the state was was lost. And in 24 short months, I believe common sense conservative policies have allowed it to be found. Uh, we have record job growth, uh, 230,000 more Virginians working today than just 22 months ago. We have backed the blue. We've stood up for parents and, and, and reestablished excellence in education. We've reduced taxes with tax relief of $5 billion, which is a record level for the Commonwealth of Virginia. We've gone to work implementing what we promised, and that's why I feel very strongly that as we head into the final day of voting on Tuesday, November 7th, right. uh, we are going to hold our house and flip our Senate. But these races are incredibly tight, and we need to get everybody out to vote. And that's why we've been working so hard on early voting. I think we need to make sure that Republicans get off the sidelines. We had 500 
500,000 people that voted for me and, and Jason Miares and Winsome Sears, our great general uh, attorney general and lieutenant governor in 2021 that didn't right. turn up and vote in the midterms in 2022. So we got to make sure everybody's gotten off the sidelines. We've had really good take up and early voting. And now we have to get everybody out on Election Day, Tuesday, November 7th, and let's hold our house and flip our Senate and finish the work. Because what happens in Virginia will have repercussions across the country. And that is why I am going to join you at the Jukebox Diner in Manassas on Election Day. I'll see you then, Governor. I really look forward to it. And everybody in Virginia, get out and vote. There you go. All right, Governor, thank you very much. See you Tuesday. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.